Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug him through the mail for an autograph. A few weeks ago, my buddy Chad, also known as Cool Plastics, was kind enough to send the channel this 1986 Topps Rack Pack. Thanks again, Chad. So let's dive into this and find a lucky victim, shall we? This was a Mets heavy pack. George is cool, but he charges and I'd rather get him on a Reds card. Vita charges too, and I'm feeling cheap, so let's go with Rick Honeycutt. Mr. and you have to say Mr. if you're making a TTM video, Mr. Rick Honeycutt is a baseball lifer. He played from 1977 to 97 for Oakland, LA, Texas, Seattle, St. Louis, and three terrible games for the New York Yankees. Maybe he hated the Yankees and was trying to sabotage them. boy, Ricky. Lots of playoff games and World Series games and all that good stuff you can find on Wikipedia. He spent 2006 through last year as the Dodgers pitching coach and recently retired where he sits at home waiting for fan mail. And here's where I normally start the nonsense portion of my video, but what am I to do? This guy doesn't have a cool nickname. He doesn't have any cool facial hair. He wasn't a superstar, not like you guys anyway. And he wasn't a Benchy. I could make up a story about how his family was a gang of honey smugglers who were known for cutting their product, making it less pure to increase the profit. Get it? Honey cut? But, you know, that's, that's kind of lazy. I do like his full name, Frederick Wayne Honeycutt. That sounds pretty fancy. Maybe Wayne is not a middle name, but a last name. Maybe he was adopted by Batman, and he was Batman's lesser known sidekick, the Bee. Maybe the Bee didn't get along with Robin. I mean, really, who likes Robin, right? I guess Teen Titans was kind of fun, but Robin was still lame. And maybe that's why he left the superhero life, to pursue a job as a major league pitcher. Let's change the music to something more superhero-y. That's better. Do you think it was his distaste for Robin that made him left, or would it be more feasible if he was just tired of DC's terrible movies? Would you blame him? I mean, you have Marvel over there making box office gold with everything they touch. I'd never even heard of Ant-Man before they made an Ant-Man movie, and DC, I have no clue what they've been doing. They don't seem to have a clue either. I mean, Ben Affleck is Batman, and that's not even your worst decision? I'm not Batman? Dag nabbit, I'm done already, and I still don't know what this video was about. Kind of like a DC movie. Fortunately for you lucky viewers, it wasn't two and a half hours long. Anyway, there's my doodle, 86 tops and uh, 90 upper deck. Rocking the shades and signing the autographs, or taking your lunch order. Got the sticker on there, and off to everybody's favorite mailbox footage. Looks like my beard grew back already. Neat! Let's see what we got. Feels like a doodle in there. Maybe he drew a picture of me. Nope. Oh, nice. Answered some questions. Signed the doodle. Very cool. Signed both cards. Awesome sauce. I love this signed card of him signing. It's so meta. Oh, the questions. I asked him who made him a better pitching coach. Sandy Koufax taught him a lot, but Clayton Kershaw made him look really good. His favorite artist is Leroy Neiman, pretty cool artist, and that is a dude with a fantastic mustache. Great answer. And he thinks Tom Berenger would play him in the movie. I don't know though, Tom Berenger seems more like a catcher than a pitcher to me. Like a base! Anyway, I have sent this doodle to Autographs for a Cure, except I sent it on Monday, so he doesn't have it just yet. If you'd like to purchase this one and support Cancer Research, keep your eye out. I'm sure it will be available as soon as he gets it in. Links in the description below. Thank you so very much, Mr. Honeycutt, for an awesome, awesome return. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. We'll see you next time. Get about the curveball, Ricky. Give him a heater.